think of her uh, presentation. My name is John Dole, and I'm the uh, president of the Vermont Institute of Natural Science, and I uh, really appreciate all of you joining us this morning. Every day is a special day at the Nature Center, but this one is um, particularly uh, special. We have here today, um, and you've, you've already heard from uh, one of them, three generations of supporters of the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. Uh, Sarah is uh, an intern with us, an education intern with us this summer. She's been a camp counselor in past years. I think you also were a, a camper at one point, weren't you? Yeah. So Sarah, Sarah, as you can see, has benefited from VINs for quite a while. But it's not just uh, Sarah who has been uh, a participant in and a supporter of VINs. It's her whole family going back to her grandfather, uh, Robert Sanserbo, who was one of our uh, early trustees uh, more than 30 years ago. And um, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, but we have here today uh, Sarah's uh, grandmother, Elizabeth Sanserbo, is with us, and her parents, um, Anne Sanserbo and Charlie Sanserbo. And um, Vin Vins is uh, going into its 40th year, and um, it's, it's wonderful to be able to have uh, that sort of uh, intergenerational following and support. And I hope that uh, maybe in, in the audience today, we, uh, we have the beginning of some of that for our next 40 years. But the, uh, the special event right now is uh, the release of an American Kestrel. Uh, and I'm gonna let Sarah explain the, the story of the Kestrel. But I just wanna comment that one of the things that we do here at the Nature Center, which is not um, always apparent to the general public, is we run a, um, an animal re rehabilitation hospital. Uh, we are, uh, at Vermont Institute of Natural Science, I think we are the premier uh, avian rehabilitation clinic in New England. And uh, we take in uh, birds, uh, often raptors, uh, the large birds of prey, that have been uh, severely injured or otherwise um, uh, found sick or, or ailing in the wild. And our rehabbers who uh, have uh, the best skills in the business, uh, rehabilitate them and bring them back to a point of health where they can be released back to the wild. And this kestrel that you're about to see uh, go back to the wild is uh, one of our uh, most recent patient success stories. And I'm going to let Sarah tell you about them before uh, she releases them. All right. So our kestrel here was found. Um, up in Washington, Vermont, which is a little bit south of Barrie. And he was hit by a car. And he suffered, when he came in, he presented with um, disorientation and central nervous system um, damage. So we weren't sure if he was going to be able to be released or not. Um, he's still a juvenile, so he was pretty young as well. Um, but he came in what's the exact date in early September September or I mean early July I'm getting way ahead of myself uh, July 11th is when he was admitted and so pretty much exactly one month almost to the day later he is ready to go back into the wild so kestrels are the smallest member of the falcon family they're really fast so once I let him go, he's probably going to get away from us pretty quickly. So keep your eyes on him. Circle a little, get his bearings, and then head out. Off to find a new territory to set up. Hi, I'm Sarah from the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. What you have just seen is one example of the more than 400 birds that VINS cares for each year. 
As a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, we depend on your support to provide the medical treatment these birds require to get them healthy and back into the wild. In addition to our on-site avian rehabilitation facility, Vins Nature Center in Quiji, Vermont proudly displays an impressive collection of live raptors, songbirds, and other animals for you to see up close. With 47 acres of diverse natural habitats, the Vins Nature Center offers a host of educational programs and special events enjoyable for people of all ages. For the latest information on the birds in our care, a list of our current Nature Center programs, outreach opportunities and events, or to contribute to VINS so that we can continue our important work, please visit our website at vinsweb.org or call 802-359-5000 for more information.